Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well, we've got a little Divi hover effect for you today. If we slide down, we've got a little parallax section here with some little boxes in them with some titles. When you hover over them, they're going to change color, drop down and reveal a call to action button. That's a nice little effect to have on your site. If people are mousing around and this sort of happens, it's going to get their attention pretty quick. This is really easy to do today. We're not using any coding or any external plugins at all, all done with the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, I'm going to go down to where I want to work. And let's just delete this section and we'll start again. So I'm going to hit the little trash can on the section there. OK. Well, let's add us a new section, little blue button for a section. I'm going to make a regular section. Inside the section, I'm going to have a row of three. But that's entirely up to you. Now, for expediency today, I'm going to use a call to action module, but this will work with any module that you care to put in there. There it is. And there's no button. Button doesn't show up until you actually put a link in. I'm going to leave everything just as it is. Obviously, put your title in there, what you want your button to say, and your content here. And common to most Divi modules, most WordPress text modules, in fact, you can align, bold, italicize, add links, and add media if you need to right here. OK, I'm going to go into the link and just put a hashtag in the button link URL. And that'll make the button show up. There we go, as you can see right there. If you want to link the module somewhere else, you can put another link in here and have two links on. When they click anywhere on the module, it'll go to this link. When they click on the button, it'll go to this link. And for best practice, as usual, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off-site to a new site, put it in a new tab so your site stays open. OK. Well, at the moment, I'm not going to change the background color at all. Any other thing I'll do is going to give it some rounded corners. So I'm going to go into my design. I'm going to get, go down to border. Let's give it 10 pixels all around. Just put in the 10. It'll put in the pixels for you. There, we've got rounded corners now. As long as you've got that little chain highlighted, it'll do all four at once. If you want to do individual values, just uncheck the chain there. All right. Well, we've got a title in there and we've got some content. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that content down slightly just by giving it a space just so I can shrink this and have the title on its own up there. So back on the content tab to the text. I'm just going to drop this down by a line by hitting the enter. Fantastic. OK, well, let's make this the height that we want it initially. So when they're not mousing over it, we'll go to design go down to sizing and I'm going to use height rather than minimum height so I'm going to take it down as you see it's going to start shrinking 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 there we go right about there right about 100 picks seems to work we've lost our content and we've just got a little box with a title in it which is great what I'm going to do now though so I'm going to hover over it, and this is common to most Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing there, these icons will appear. Hit the little arrow. It gives you the option to put in a hover state and a desktop state. Desktop is like it is at the moment when your mouse is not hovering over it. Hover, funnily enough, is when your mouse is hovering over it. So when we're hovering over it, I want to see the whole thing. Button and all. So let's make it, well, let's round it up to 400. And you can type in a value, you can slide, and you can fine tune with the little arrows right there. So we've got that when we hover over it. And we've got this when we're not hovering over it. Great. So perhaps when we hover over it, let's have that background change color. So to do that, we'll simply go back to the content, go to the background. And again, go up over, dark writing there, little arrow, 
desktop we'll keep it that blue color when we hover over it let's have it change to perhaps a purple or whatever color you want to put in there fantastic so i'm pretty much done here i'm going to give it a little bit of box shadow and then i'm going to slow it down slightly because the default time that it takes to go from this state to this state is 300 milliseconds that's pretty quick just under a third of a second i like to slow it down for a bit of drama but that's entirely up to you so let's do the box shadow first and then we'll slow it down so i'm back on the design tab i'm going to go down a box shadow try all these out the one i like to use in this particular case is this one right here fantastic and now let's slow it down now to slow the animation down or the hover animation go to advanced and here you'll find transitions I'm going to slide this up to oh, around about a second I think and again this is entirely up to you I just like to slow things down for a bit of drama best for me speed curve for these sort of things I use the ease in ease out they're all slightly different though so check them out but most hover effects this tends to work great for me so I'm happy with that one now let's just work on our section because when we hover on this it's going to push all these things down the bottom here and I, I really don't want that I want a section to be the fixed height so all that happens is this flows down and then flows back up again so let's go into the section and we'll give it background so we can see what's going on I'm going to give it an image you've got color gradient image or video if you want to simply add a background image pop that one in I'm gonna make it CSS parallax just for a bit of more effect going on there I'm gonna make it CSS parallax which is basically fixed background so it stays where it is when you're rolling up and down okay great well we've got that we've got that so what I need to do now is make this section big enough to contain this thing when it expands and we know it's 400 so let's make our section that's about 100 we'll try 600 that might be too much so we'll go into our design I'm gonna go to sizing I'm gonna give it a minimum height this time not a regular height so we don't care if it goes a bit bigger you may want to on um, mobile devices and we'll check that in a minute so let's say a minimum height around 600 there we go so it's going to be that big great well let's just save this and let's duplicate our module here and we'll pull one over it doesn't matter which one obviously you can change your title and content and if you've got multiple content and they've got uh, different amounts of content in them you want to set the section height to be able to contain the longest one obviously or you can make them all the same height it's entirely up to you okay well let's have a look at this make sure this is going to work on tablet and mobile too so i'm going into one of the actual rows here i'm going to go down to sizing just in case we need to change it if you want to change it you can do it again hover over where it says in the dark writing height there hit the little mobile phone type icon and it'll give you three options desktop which we're looking at at the moment tablet so we can see what it looks like on a tablet yeah that's fine and as you can see the background image there that's why we just use minimum height so it can make itself bigger when it needs to on smaller devices right there and let's check it on our phone and again yeah that's gonna work absolutely fine great so we're happy let's save everything save the page changes save draft or publish and exit the visual builder go on down there's our little parallax or fixed background section right there there's our little containers when we hover over one it's changing color revealing the call to action similar with the next ones and like I say that's a nice little effect once you've got one going of course you can copy them and 
do what you want with them and duplicate and that's a nice little effect and like I said earlier no coding involved with this today at all so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to the YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day.